Oh, oh. Sorry, guys. Welcome to Jason Boy. Magic time. Today, I will be reading you, me and my amazing buddy. Me and my amazing buddy. What, you see a bumper on my head? Here. Oh, just from a tennis racket. Don't worry about it. I will go find me and my amazing buddy. By John Sweeney. I was dripped by Edward Miller. This is me and my amazing buddy. These are the parts of my body that I can see. Okay, you see his body parts? Hey, I okay. Let's get this part. But most of my body I can't see because my skin covers almost every inch of it. Skin comes in many different colors. What is your skin color? My skin color is kind of brown. It is. See? But a lot of people's skin color might be this or this or this. It's Everybody's skin is unique. Okay. It holds my body to get there and let me feel things. Like my kitty soft fur. Or the prickly spikes of my cactus. You see a skeleton? Let's read this part. Beneath my skin are my bones, all 206 of them. When my bones are put together, they're called a skeleton. My skeleton holds up my skin, just like tent poles hold up a tent. Bones are hard and help protect the softer sides inside of my body. Attached to my bones are mus my muscles. My body has more than 600. That means if I'm telling the story, I'm using muscles. So when I'm talking, la 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 la, I am moving my muscles. Also when I'm blinking, also when I'm moving. They stretch and shrink like rubber bands. <laughs> oh, sorry. Muscles do, muscles do the hard work of moving my body all around, back and forth, and up and down. I even use my muscles when I smell. My muscles move because my brain tells them to. My brain is the boss of my body and it lets me think of my own special thoughts. I love my cat. I don't have a cat. Well, I do have a pet snail that's in my backyard. Hmm. It's so important that it has its own set place in my head inside a very hard bone called my skull. My brain sends and receives and receives messages from all parts of my body. The body of my brain needs lots of energy to work well. They get energy from my blood. My blood turns Okay, guys, come close to me, cause that's my my mom. Wait.
what what I actually talk to mom. Mama. My blood travels all over my bo my body and my brain needs lots of energy to work well. They get look energy from my blood. My blood travels all over my body through special tubes called veins and arteries. Blood contains oxygen from the air and nourish from the food that I eat. Yummy, yummy. If I cut or scrape my skin and it bleeds, don't worry, my body is always making more blood. My blood comes moves through my body all by itself and needs my heart a group are a group of strong muscles in my chest to move it. Move it. My heart is like my own little engine. It pumps blood through my body all the time, even when I'm sleeping. If I put my hand on my chest, I can feel my heart beating. Can you? Boom 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 I hate it I heard it Did you I also I can also feel my lungs working when I breathe in deep my lungs feel with fresh air, like balloons, and send the part of the air that I need the oxygen into my blood. <sighs> Can you try that too? Let my lungs push the used air back out. A moment later, I breathe in fresh air all over again. My body needs food along with air, or else I wouldn't grow. <gasps> Sorry, I burped. Because I ate a lot of dumplings. When I get hungry, I eat, and the food goes down my stomach. Also, I eat, my stomach mashes the food into very tiny pieces. Then my body takes what it needs for energy and growth and gets rid of whatever it doesn't need. Every part of my body works together to keep me going. And keep me growing. Someday I'll be a grown up. I'll be all grown up. Isn't it amazing? Isn't it? And almost, and most amazing of all, oh, every person in the world has a body that's very much the same, but Every person is also very different. There's no one else in the world exactly like you, and no one exactly like me, or ever will be. That means you are unique in your own way. Wow, this is so fun. So if you could line up all your blood vessels, they could wrap around the world four times. Isn't that amazing? How could it even fit in your body? Sorry. Thank you for listening to this.
some Potter's Magic time. Subscribe to my channel, leave a like in my video, and see you on my videos. That's all. Bye bye.